Hi children, this is Sarath from Lord High School. Today we are going to learn standard form of a polynomial and also division of a polynomial. Division of a polynomial. So here, what is standard form? So standard form, there are two ways in standard form. One is descending order and one is ascending order form. But uh, descending order form is very very important. Descending order form is very very important. How to write the given polynomial in standard form? Now we are going to learn. So here, the given polynomial is uh, 3x square minus 5x cube plus 4x to the power of 6 plus 3x minus 2. And also the same I have written that side also. Here, how to write the given polynomial in uh, standard form? Standard form, there are two ways I said already, descending order form and ascending order form. Powers of the variable decrease from left to right. That is descending order form. So here, what is the variable? The variable is nothing but x. The variable is nothing but x. The powers of x are either in increasing order or in decreasing order. So now I am going to say the increasing order. Decreasing order. First decreasing, later I will go for increasing order. Decreasing order, how to write? You see, this is first powers of the variable, this is first plus 4x to the power of 6. Next one, what is the after 6, what is the power 3? Minus 5x cube. After that, but the power is 2, this is plus, plus 3x square. After that, plus 3x minus 2. Actually, you see, here the power of the variable is 6, 3, 2, the power is 1. Here, what is the power of this? It is constant term. If you want, you can write 2 into 1. That is nothing but 2 into x to the power of 0. Then this is nothing but x to the power of 0. That's why here the power of the variables, powers of the variables decrease from left to right. Decrease from left to right. That's why here 6, here 3, decreasing order here 2, here 1, here 0. This is the standard form. Descending order form. This form is very very important. Now x to the power of 0 is just not, this is not required. Now, the given polynomial is in standard form. What is that? 4x to the power of 6 minus 5x cube, 5x cube plus 3x square plus 3x minus 2. This is in standard form. Descending order. Now, we are going to learn ascending order form. Already descending order form is completed. That is very very important. Ascending order form is nothing but increasing order, increasing order, increasing order. The powers from small to big, small to big, increase order, increasing order, increasing order. So here I am writing, this is nothing but, uh, this we can write minus 2 into x to the power of 0. Actually minus 2 into 1, minus 2 into x to the power of 0. Now I am writing. So small to big no first in this which power which one is small the power of this variable is one the power of this variable is one so here zero one six three two in this what is lowest power lowest power is nothing but two into x to the power of zero minus two into the power the symbol is also the sign is also very very important this is the power is 1. The power of this variable is 1. After that, 1 plus 3x to the power of 1. After 1, 2 will be there. Yes. Plus 3x square. After that, 3 will be there. Yes. 3 will be there. Minus 5x cube. Minus 5x cube. Powers only have to check. Minus 5x cube. After 5x cube, plus 4x to the power of 6 plus 4x to the power of 6. Check the powers. The powers of the variables 0, 1, 0, 1. Ascending orders small to big 2, 3, 6. The powers we check 0, 1, 2, 3, 6. Only you check the powers. Now 0, 1, 2, 3, 6. If you want, this is not required, just you can write only minus 2. Minus 2 plus 3x to the power of 1. That is nothing but 3x plus 3x square 
minus 5x cube plus 4x to the power of 6. This is also in standard form. This is ascending order form. Before already we learned descending order form that is very very important. You see in these powers big to small 6, 3, 2, 1. This is a 2 index to the power of 0, 0. 2 index to the power of 0, 0. That's why this is decreasing order. This is decreasing order. Descending order. Descending order. This is descending order form. That is ascending order form. This form is very very important. Now we are going to write, we are going to learn one more polynomial. How to write the standard form. Either, not either, both descending order and ascending order. I said already descending order is very very important. Here it is given a polynomial. So how to write in descending order? Descending order is nothing but first of all check the powers of the variables. The powers of the variables should be uh, right in decreasing order. Decreasing order. Here first of all just the power of the variable is 3. Here the power of the variable is 1. Here the power of the variable is 4. What about this? This is nothing but 8 into x to the power of 0. That's why decreasing order, descending order. So here what is the highest first highest power? 4. So that's why minus 4 x to the power of 4. First minus 4 x to the power of 4. After 4, 3. This is a nothing but plus plus 6 x cube plus 6 x cube after cube 3 what is the power 1 this is nothing but minus 7 x minus 7 x after that the last one is plus 8 is nothing but plus 8 into x to the power of 0 what is the power of this x 1 now you check the order descending order so the power 4 the power of the variable is 4 3 1 0 4 3 1 0 you see 4 this is 3 this is 1 this is 0 that's why the powers are in decreasing order the powers are in decreasing order that's why it is descending order form this is standard form this is very very important for you now i am going to write ascending order form ascending order form means small to big you also have to check powers here same way i am writing the power is 1 here this is 3 this is 1 here i can write 8 into x to the power of 0 here 4 so decreasing order no decreasing order means first small to big what is small one first 0 next 1 next 3 next 4 first i will write first i will write 8 into x to the power of 0 after that minus 7 into x to the power of 1 Next, 3 plus 6x cube plus, no sign in the sense plus, plus 6x cube minus 4x to the power of 4. This is also in standard form. This is ascending order form. This is not more important, but the descending order is very, very important. Once again, I check, just I'll rub this one. This is 8 into x to the power of 0 is nothing but 8. 8 minus 7x plus 6x cube minus 4x to the power of 4. 4x to the power of for this is also standard form, but it is in ascending order form. One more example. Again, we are going to write in standard form. Here, the power is one. Here, anyhow, nine into x to the power of zero. If you are not writing, also no problem. Directly lost, you can write constant term. Here, the highest power is five. That's why first you write uh, minus seven x to the power of five. Next highest power 4 is not there, 3 is not there, 2. That's why plus 4x square. After that, the power is uh, plus 6x to the power of 1. If you are not writing 1, also no problem. Last 9x to the power of 0 is nothing but constant 9. This is in standard form. Minus 7x to the power of 5 plus 4x square plus 4x square plus uh, 3, 6x to the power of 1 constant power is 5 2 1 here the power is 5 here the power is 2 here the power is 1 here the power is 0 5 2 1 0 otherwise here we need itself we can check 5 2 1 constant term this is in standard form this is in standard form 
sum. This uh, you can write uh, once again I am writing minus 1 into x to the power of 0 plus x square minus 9 x to the power of 4 plus x cube minus 3 x to the power of 1. Check the powers here. The power of the variable is 0, 2, 4, 3, 1. Now, first highest power you have to take. Highest power. Now I am going to write in standard form. Highest power you have to write. The 4 is the highest power I think. So that's why minus 9 x to the power of 4. Next one plus 2 x cube plus 2 x cube. After that plus x square plus x square is nothing but plus 1 x square. Next minus 3 x minus 3 x. Next minus 1 into x to the power of 0. Minus 1 into x to the power of 0. This is nothing but minus 9x to the power of 4 plus 2x cube plus x square minus 3x. 3x is nothing but 3x to the power of 1. 3x. 3x to the power of 1 is nothing but 3x. This minus 1 into x to the power of 0 is nothing but minus 1. Which here you check the power 4, 3, 2, 1. This is normally constant term. I have written like this 0. If you are not writing also no problem. 4. The power is uh, 4. Now this is in standard form. You see 4, 3, 2. Here the power is 1. Here this is constant term. Otherwise 0. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. This is in standard form. One more example. 7x square plus 3x minus 5 minus 6x cube plus x to the power of 4. So I am going to write in standard form. Descending order form. Here the power of the variable is 2. Here the power of the variable again I like. No problem. 7x square plus 3x to the power of 1 minus 5 into x to the power of 0 minus 6x cube. Plus x to the power of 4. Directly you can write. No need to write. But uh, somebody may get confused. That's what they are explaining. Here what is the highest power in this 4. That's why. Plus x to the power of 4. After 4. The power is 3. That's why. Minus 6x cube we have to write. Minus 6x cube. Next power 2. This is nothing but plus 7x square. Plus 7x square. Plus 7x square. After plus 7x square. 3x to the power of 1. After the constant term. That is nothing but. That is nothing but. Uh, minus 5x to the power of 0. Minus 5x to the power of 0. Carefully check. x to the power of 4. 3. 2. 1. 0. This is nothing but. 5x. 5x to the power of 0 is nothing but 5. This is 3x to the power of 1 is nothing but 3x. This is the final answer. x to the power of 4 minus 6x cube plus 7x square plus 3x minus 5. Directly you can write. No need to write the middle step. Directly. What is the first one? Plus x to the power of 4. Next one. Minus 6x cube. Next one. Plus 6x. 7x square. Next one. Power is 1. That's why plus 3x. Next one. Constant term. Minus 5. Directly you can write like this. One more example, again we are going to write in standard form. Here, the power is 1, here anyhow 9 into x to the power of 0. If you are not writing also no problem, directly lost you can write constant term. Here the highest power is 5, that's why first you write uh, minus 7 x to the power of 5. Next highest power, 4 is not there, 3 is not there, 2, that's why plus 4 x square. After that, the power is uh, plus 6x to the power of 1. If you are not writing 1 also, no problem. Plus 9x to the power of 0 is nothing but constant 9. This is in standard form. Minus 7x to the power of 5 plus 4x square plus 4x square plus uh, 3, 6x to the power of 1 constant. Power is 5 to 1. Here the power is 5. Here the power is 2. 
if the power is 1, if the power is 0, 5 to 1, 0. Otherwise, here in itself we can check 5 to 1 constant term. This is in standard form. This is in standard form. We completed uh, standard form. Now I am giving assignment. Write each of the following polynomials in the standard form. We have told some stuff there. All of you write in standard form. Okay. Okay, children, already we learned the standard form of a polynomial. Now we are going to learn division of a polynomial by a polynomial. Now, this is one polynomial, this is another polynomial. This is very, very important. Division of a polynomial by a polynomial. Divide 3x square plus x minus 1 by x plus 1 by using long division method. This method is called as long division method. So, how to do? We are going to learn now. Now listen, this is uh, divide 3x square plus x minus 1 by x plus 1. This is uh, dividend. Actually, this is dividend. Dividend. This is divisor. This is dividend divisor. Dividend divisor. This, if you want, you can give a name. This is f of x. This is g of x. The polynomial of x, f of x is equal to 3x square plus x minus 1 by g of x is equal to x plus 1. This is called as dividend. This is called as divisor. You know how to divide. Now I am going to explain. Dividend, divisor. Dividend, this is uh, dividend. Dividend, this is dividend. Dividend shortcut uh, dd. This is divisor, dr. Dividend divisor. So, how to divide this method is called as long division method. First of all, I said already, if you want, this is a polynomial. If you want for this, you can give one name f of x. f of x. This name of this is f of x. This name of this divisor you can give g of x. How to divide long division method? First of all, the dividend should be in standard form. Check whether it is in standard form or not. You check. Yes, it is in standard form. Why? Because the power of the variable is 2, 1 constant. Yes, it is in standard form. You check divisor also. Divisor also in standard form. X plus 1. Now, it is a linear polynomial. It is a quadratic polynomial. So, now we are first we are discussing very easy sum. Now, how to do this sum carefully you take. Now, first of all, you take plus 3x square. 3x square divided by this x. 3x square divided by this x. 3x square by x. First, simplify this one. 3x square by x. 3x square by x. Now, how to simplify? 3x square by x. Uh, 3 means 3 by 1, 3 only x square by x x square by x we can uh, x discuss in two ways x square by x x square is nothing but x into x x is nothing but x x x cancel x is left over that is x this is one way but all the way, times this is not uh, possible in the sensor it will take time that's why better you up, you can apply exponential formula x square by x x is nothing but x to the power of 1 x is nothing but x to the power of 1 we know one formula a to the power of m by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n like this x to the power of 2 minus 2 by x to the power of 1 is equal to x to the power of 2 by x to the power of 1 is equal to x to the power of 2 minus 1 that is equal to x to the power of 1 that is equal to x. So, both are same. So, what is the answer for x to the power of 2 by x is x. 3 by 1 is equal to 6. So, this is 3 by x. Sorry, this is 3x. This is 3x. 3x. This 3x, you write in a quotient area. This is 3x. 3x. So, here, 3x square by x is equal to 3x. 3x square by x is equal to 3x. The 3x you write in 
quotient area 3x 3x now you multiply this 3x into 3x into divisor x plus 1 3x into divisor x plus 1 3x into divisor x plus 1 now so I am going to multiply 3x into x square is equal to 3x square plus 3x into 1 is equal to 3x 3x into 1 is equal to 3x you write uh, the below below the uh, dividend 3x square plus 3x now we have to like normal division we have to go for subtraction here also I am doing subtraction subtraction I am doing subtraction actually the sign of 3x square is equal to plus the sign of 3x square is equal to plus because of this subtraction because of the subtraction the plus will be minus the plus will be minus the plus will be minus now I am doing subtraction now 3x square 3x square minus 3x square 3x square you should not use this symbol now plus already because of the subtraction this plus will be minus the plus will be minus 3x square minus 3x square 3x square minus 3x square is 0 no need to write 3x square minus 3x square is equal to 0 now this is 1x x in the sense 1x 1x minus 3x what is the answer for 1x minus 3x? 1x, 1x minus 3x, 1x minus 3x is equal to minus 2x, is equal to minus 2x. That's why here 1x minus 3x is equal to minus 2x, bring down minus 1, bring down minus 1. Now, this is new dividend minus 2x minus 1. We have to divide. Why? Because very very important point. The degree of the this polynomial is uh, one. The degree of the this polynomial is also one. This po so this again uh, we have to divide. Degree of this polynomial is one. Both the degrees are equal. Still division is there. Still division is there. Now the new dividend is we have to take minus two x. Yes? And uh, minus 2x by x. Minus 2x by x. Okay. Here again the new dividend is minus 2x minus 1. The divisor is x plus 1. This divided by this. Minus 2x by x. Very easy. Minus 2x by x. xx cancel. Otherwise you can apply exponential formula also. xx cancel minus 2. So this minus 2 you write in the. Uh, quotient that uh, quotient area 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 minus 2 you can write uh, here 3x minus 2 3x minus 2 so this minus 2 into minus 2 into this minus 2 into this minus 2 into again divisor minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to minus 2 into x minus 2x plus minus 2 into 1 minus 2 minus 2 into plus 1 minus 2 into plus 1 minus 2 minus 2 into plus 1 minus 2 2 ones are 2, 2 into x 2x minus 2 into x is equal to minus 2x okay this is over next this one is over Next, minus 2 into plus 1. 2 ones are 2. Minus into plus minus minus 2. So, minus 2 into x plus 1 is, is, x plus one is equal to minus 2x minus 2. Minus 2x minus 2. So, minus 2x minus 2. Again, like the normal uh, uh, division, you have to go for subtraction. Because of this mi minus, this minus will be plus. Because of this minus, this minus will be plus. Because of this minus, 
this minus will be plus. Now minus 2x plus 2x minus 2x plus 2x will be 0 minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 is nothing but plus 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 answer is 1. So this is 1. This one is 1. This is dividend. This is a divisor. This is a remainder. A remainder. Remainder. This one is called as quotient. This terminology is very very important. This terminology is very very important. This is dividend, divisor, remainder, quotient. So already this name of the polynomial is f of x. Dividend is nothing but f of x. Divisor is g of x. Quotient we can write a q of x, q of x, and remainder we can write r of x. Remainder we can write r of x. This is very very important. So just uh, 3x square plus x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. The quotient is 3x minus 2. The remainder is uh, 1. The remainder is 1. This is remainder. Remainder is 1. So very very important. Division of a polynomial by polynomial by long division method. Definitely this is a tough uh, task but even then after uh, practicing many sums we we'll get a clear idea about these sums now just explain only one sum once again if you want once again i will explain this sum this is very very important this terminology so this is so this is dividend divisor quotient and remainder dividend is nothing but f of x divisor is nothing but g of x Quotient is nothing but Q of X and remainder is R of X. Remainder is R of X. This terminology is very very important. In uh, we will discuss uh, this sum. 3X square plus X minus 1 divided by X plus 1. Dividend, divisor. Dividend uh, is uh, F of X. Divisor is in the G of X. We are using those names. F of X is equal to this one and G of X is equal to this one. Once again, we are divide, I am dividing. So, this should be in uh, standard form, descending form. Already it, it is in standard form, it is in standard form. Now, first of all, this divided by this. 3x square divided by x. 3x square divided by x. So, 3x square divided by x, uh, 3x square divided by x, this is nothing but 3 by 1. 3 by 1 is equal to 3. This part I have to simplify. X square by X. X square by X. X square by X. X to the power of 1. A by A, A, A to the power of M by A to the power of N is equal to A to the power of M minus N. Like a, X to the power of 2 minus 1. X to the power of 2 minus 1 is equal to X to the power of 1 is equal to X. So here the answer is. Here the answer is x here the answer is x 3x this 3x you write here in portion place you write uh, 3x not that 3x this 3x into divisor this 3x into divisor so 3x into x plus 1 3x into x is equal to 3x square plus 3x into 1 is equal to 3x 3x into 1 is equal to 3x. So, 3x square plus 3x. 3x square plus 3x. 3x square plus 3x. Now, like normal long division, you have to subtract. Here also subtraction. Subtraction, the sine of 3x square is plus. Sine of 3x is equal to plus. The numerical quotient of x is 1. Now I am going to do subtraction. 3. So 3x square because of this minus subtraction. It is a subtraction. Uh, now it is a vertical subtraction. 3x this because of this minus this plus will be minus this plus will be minus. Plus 3x square under 
plus 3x square and minus 3x square will be cancelled. It will be 0 plus 3x square minus 3x square 0 plus 1x minus 3x plus 1x minus 3x. 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2. 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 2. That's why here minus 2x. 1x minus 3x is equal to minus 2x. Bring down minus 1. Bring down minus 1. Now the new dividend is minus 2x minus 1. The new dividend is minus 2x minus 1. Here is it remainder or not? We have to check. Definitely it is not a remainder. Why? Because this degree of this uh, uh, x plus 1 is 1. The degree of this one is 1. Both the degrees are equal. Definitely the remainder degree should be less than the divisor. The remainder degree should be less than the divisor. The remainder degree should be less than the divisor. Here the, both the degrees are equal. Here the degree of this polynomial is 1. The degree of this polynomial is 1. That's why again still we have to go for the uh, division. Now 2x minus 1 here I have to take minus 2x and x. Minus 2x minus 2x by x minus 2x by x minus 2x by x so what is minus 2x by x minus 2x when you have 2 minus 2 uh, by 1 is equal to minus 2 uh, x and x will be cancelled that's what uh, the minus 2 minus 2x by x is equal to minus 2 this minus 2 you write here now that minus 2 into again the divisor minus 2 into x plus 1 carefully you divide multiply minus 2 into x is equal to minus 2x minus 2 into x minus 2x here minus 2 into plus 1 minus 2 into plus 1 is 2 1 star 2 minus into plus minus that's why minus 2 that's why minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2x minus 2 so now I am writing here minus 2x minus 2 minus 2x Again, like no, normal division, wrong division, you have to go for subtraction. Now, because of this minus, this minus will be plus, this minus will be plus. So, minus 2x and plus 2x will be cancelled, not minus 2x, minus 2x. Minus 2x and plus 2x will be cancelled. This is a uh, vertical subtraction we are doing. Now, minus 1 plus 2, minus 1 plus 2 that is nothing but minus 1 plus 2 that is nothing but plus 2 minus 1 that is nothing but 2 minus 1 that is nothing but 1 that is nothing but 1 simply minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 2 is equal to 1 this is dividend this is divisor this is quotient this one is this is quotient this is uh, Reminder, dividend, divisor, portion, reminder. The dividend is nothing but uh, f of x. This is uh, g of x. This one we can give one name q of x. This is uh, r of x. This one is r of x. r of x. This terminology is very very important. So, one sum only I explained two times. This is very very important concept important division division of polynomial by polynomial we should practice this one time one sum that is enough for today's class tomorrow i will explain nearly four sums regarding division so today what is the assignment the assignment is belongs to standard form practice that do that assignment and practice this sum two times i explained why i explained two times you must know the importance of this sum. So definitely I have to practice this sum. Tomorrow we will go for again division of polynomial by polynomial. Nearly four sums we have to practice. Then after that I will give you assignment based on division of polynomials. Thank you. Thank you.